Hey guys, this video is a beginner's tutorial on a Python function that I'm amazed isn't taught to new programmers more often, the eval function. Understanding this function can hugely simplify your code, especially when it comes to computation. I'll tell you what it does and give you examples of just how useful it is. Here's how eval works. You simply pass a string. In that string, you write out an expression as though it were typical Python code. Now you know that Python can't perform arithmetic calculations on a raw string. It's just a string, nothing happens. But with eval, the expression is executed. Look here. When we print the result of the eval function, we can see that the result is correct. Okay, so what? You might think to yourself, Python can do that with floats and integers. And that's true. So, where's the benefit? Reason 1. Say you need to write code that ultimately evaluates this expression. To make matters worse, consider that many of those numbers are likely variables that each require plenty of code to arrive at even before being utilized here. In complex code, it might take several lines or even huge blocks of code to perform the calculations you need. But if throughout the program you simply add your variables to an empty string and pass it to eval? <coughs> Reason 2. Eval allows you to escape, if you will, the limits of regular Python syntax. Look at these symbols. They're fundamental characters in Python and are supremely important for coding in general. But because they're fundamental, they're inflexible. You can't dynamically assign them to formulas like other variables and characters. You have to write them in before the program runs, and they can't move. Well, what happens when you run into situations where you don't know what you may need to calculate? You don't know where the plus sign, minus sign, or parentheses need to go. Wouldn't it be nice if you could write dynamic code that determines these things at runtime? Yes, but too bad you can't. And with that, you're back to writing huge blocks of code. Eval is here to spare you. Instead of going through all that, you simply need to write code that plops your expression into a string. Then you run that string through eval and Python gives you the answer. Email gives you the flexibility to assign these fundamental operators at runtime. Here are two examples. This is a desktop calculator I built using eval. It has every function a simple calculator should, and it took only about 350 lines of code to make, and the majority of that was used to create the buttons, the style, and prevent the user from entering incorrect syntax. Guess how many lines of code are dedicated to doing the actual math? One. There it is, eval. It accepts a string called display text. As a user clicks the buttons to perform math, each click simply adds the character to a string. When they hit the equal button, the string goes to eval and the answer is displayed. Here's another example. This guy on Stack Overflow wanted help writing a program that tested every possible combination of parentheses in this expression and to display the result. He didn't know what to do. Take a guess how I answered him. Eval. First, create a function that creates strings of all possible combinations of parentheses. Send them to eval. Problem solved. There's more to eval, but these are the basics to get you started. That's it for this video. I hope what I covered can save you some headaches. For more fun tutorials and projects, please subscribe to Project Python, and I'll see you next time.